wave height. You're also going to see this term used a lot, significant wave height. Y'all can read all the, all the rest of it, but here's the, here's the important part of it, is that, that if they're calling for 3.3 foot seas, you see right here, 3.3 foot? If they're calling for 3.3 foot, 3 .3 foot seas, 1 in 10 seas is going to be 1.5 feet. 1 in 100 is going to be 4.9, and 1 in 1,000 is going to be 6.1. Y'all think about that just a moment. 1 in 1,000 waves will be 6.1. This is when you, when you read uh, anything to do with significant wave height. That's why, and I always kind of kind of get a chuckle out of this, we put out these forecasts in Reefcast, we, we, the National Weather Service puts out this forecast, says, oh, it was three foot that day, and you know, you, the guys come back in, they're like, oh, shit, dude, it was five foot, it was 10 foot, it was, you know, blah, blah, blah. It's because of significant wave height and what they're actually forecasting. It's actually two thirds city. Before you get the next one. This is this is the most seas. This is the, the, this is where most of the seas are going to come down. And this isn't the size of the sea. This is the frequency of the seas. Okay, and that's important. That distinction is important. This is where most of the sea height is going to be. But this down here is the significant wave height. Does that make sense? And that's very important to understand so that when we tell you that it's going to be three foot that day, you can expect some fives and sixes in there. Okay? Because right here is what we're forecasting. Most of the seas are going to be smaller, but there is going to be a number of these seas that are going to be larger. Everybody got that? 